Hi guys, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm doing a quick reading for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Ophiuchus for this new full moon, or excuse me, the full moon that we just recently had. I believe it was yesterday. Um, I'm going to shuffle these cards real quick. Let's say a blessing and we'll just see what comes out for you. Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All right, now I'm a big believer that the full moon is a great time to let go of energies that are not supposed supporting you any longer, to let go of energies, toxicities, things that are keeping you from um, meeting your highest potential. So let's uh, just meditate on that anytime we have a full moon energy coming about. All right, and let's see what we have for you guys. I'm going to start you off with the Deviant Moon Tarot, and then I will clarify with another deck in a minute. Let's see. Perfect. I have the Knight of Wands. Perfect. Um, that's Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. That is um, our fire sign masculine energy. But this is somebody who really wants to take action in a certain direction. They want to take, um, they want to make a change. A big change. Okay. Okay. I have the Queen of Wands crossing that. That is um, Aries Leo Sagittarius Feminine. Very good, guys. Way to go showing up for yourself. Um, and way to go showing up for yourself. I really, really like this energy. The Queen of Wands is someone who's very beautiful. They're very popular. They have a lot of people whose eyes are on them. I have the Knight of Pentacles that came out on top of that. Whoever I'm reading for is someone who is trying to, um, they're trying to blaze new trails in their lives. And you have a lot of people who are around to support you, whoever you are. Um, this is an energy with this Knight of Pentacles, someone who's investing in themselves. Yes, good job. Investing in themselves in the very wisest of ways. It can be in your career. It can be in your love life. It can be in your family. Um, I have the Hermit card. This is someone, and it comes out on its side here. This is someone who's being very cautious about who they allow into their environment, who they allow into their energy field. Um, with this Hermit energy, this is someone who's kind of keeping themselves um, isolated in some way. Someone who's kind of keeping things I'm hearing... Um, they don't want someone to see something quite yet. This Ace of Pentacles is somebody who started something new. This is someone who has something going on, possibly not telling other people um, what they've invested in um, or what they've begun, but it is something you can definitely take to the bank with that Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is my favorite card to get in any kind of reading, whether it's love, whether it's financial, whether it's family, whatever, or career. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, again, something you can take to the bank, something you, all, you would love to invest in because it's going to be profitable for you to do so. Good job. Still not telling anybody with that hermit energy coming out on its side. That's the card of Virgo. Good job. Let's see. And I have the justice card, which is the card of Libra. We have the scales of balance finally being, um, rectified. It feels like there's been a lot of imbalances in your life for a long time. It's possible you may have been feeling like you have been taken advantage of, or uh, maybe people weren't always being so kind to you or so giving to you. Maybe you were giving more than you were receiving. Maybe you just hadn't been given. Um, maybe it's about um, equal pay or fair pay for, for the work that you do or something like that. Um, but in any case, that something's being rectified this week. This can indicate legal matters going in your favor. This can indicate, um, well, I mean, it's, it's a good energy. It really, really is. And I'm going to clarify with another deck in just a minute. I have the four of wands here. That's that twin flame 1111 card. It is a divinely, um, orchestrated soulmate union. However, beyond that, it really indicates building stability in your life. And it indicates, um, stability within the four walls of your home. Um, specifically someone who's very much focused on the future. They're much focused on, um, creating a positive foundation for their lives currently. And they're, um, I get the impression you're excited about what is to come because you're really starting to build some um, foundational, um, I don't know, it feels like building blocks, the word building blocks that are going to support you from now until forever. It seems like you're creating a career for yourself. A lot of eyes are on you. I have the page of cups here. There's, uh, wow, a lot of eyes on you. There are a lot of people who would love to tell you how much they love you with this page of cups coming out on its side. You're not really sure about who you want to allow in. I get there's an energy of um, a lot of self-protection with this hermit energy coming out on its side. Um, really, again, being very cautious as to who you allow in your environment into your energy. And it's because you're making so many positive changes in your life and you're not telling everybody what it is that you're doing. 
Um, here I have the Two of Pentacles. This could be someone who's juggling a lot. This could be someone who has a lot going on. Um, this could be the energy of juggling more than one person. Um, it could be the energy of having more than one job or or just feeling like you're spread very thin. And that may be why you're very conscious and conscientious of who you allow in. Okay, very good. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily a negative energy. There's a lot of balance here. I, I feel like whoever I'm reading for, you're very much focused on creating balance in your life. Because I have the Two of Pentacles, I have the Justice card, and I have that Four of Wands. Very good. And you're not um, in, you're not interested in investing, in investing in anything that is not going to be profitable or um, smart. Good job. Good job. You only want things that you want to commit to. I have the Six of Swords here. This is someone who is really moving on from situations that don't serve them any longer. This can indicate a physical move of some sort. This Six of Swords is someone who is taking all of the information that they have accumulated over the last several years um, and they're putting, it, they're putting it in the boat and that's all they're taking. That's it. Only the most important things. Very good job. Whoever I'm reading for, you're someone who's making a lot of positive changes in their life. I like it. I have the Justice card again on top of the Justice card, again, the card of Libra. But this, this can indicate someone who has been through a lot. And I think that you're assessing where these imbalances have been, um, specifically in relationships that you've allowed into your life. Good job, whoever you are. Um, you can be... I'm getting the impression that whomever I'm reading for, you haven't been allowing a lot of people in for a while. And I understand why, because we've already talked about why. Um, but I'm getting the impression that you're starting to kind of ease up on that a little bit. You're starting to allow a little bit more give and take. And I think that's really good. Again, I said there are a lot of people who really want to love you and they want to express how much they want to love you. And I understand why you've put up some boundaries here in the past. Um, but I think that there are a lot of people who would like to reach out to you and connect with you. I think you're finally getting to the point where you're you're able to allow that. I have the seven of wands energy out. Very good. That is someone who um, has a lot of <laughs> a lot of people coming towards them. This can feel like you've experienced a lot of drama in the past because of other individuals and you're simply not willing to entertain it any longer. All right. So we're just opening up the tap to a trickle is kind of what it here. I hear. Very good. I have the five of pentacles here. This is someone who has experienced financial loss. This is someone who has gone through a lot in the recent past. And I get the impression you're someone who gives more, has been giving more than you've been receiving for a long time. And that's why you've been keeping people at arm's length for a while. I have the Hermit again out for you guys. A lot of repeat cards for you guys. Very good job. And a lot of these repeat cards are major arcana cards. So that's excellent of you to show up. I appreciate that. This Hermit energy is though someone who needs to come out of their shell. This is someone who needs to start talking to others other people. You have a lot to offer and you know that you do. Other people want to be in your presence. And I think you're finally starting to understand that it's okay to let to let go, to open up a little bit more. Um, and I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by what you receive in the in return. And I don't think I, I'm I'm hearing the words jaded jaded. I think that that's something you're letting go of. If that's a feeling you've been experiencing for a while, I have the page of swords here. There are going to be a lot of people who are watching you from a distance. I don't know if you have a presence on social media or if you just have one person who is um, quite taken with you with that page of swords energy coming out on its side. You have a lot of people who want to talk to you for whatever reason. Um, you may just be very magnetic right now. This is good. Perfect. And I have the King of Cups here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Masculine um, energy, as well as the Chariot card here, which is the card of Cancer. Um, so you may be dealing with um, someone who has their eye on you romantically, and I get the impression that it's like full steam ahead. I'm hearing the words full steam ahead um, in a romantic relationship or also in... Um, your career life. You have a lot of people looking at you for a lot of reasons, but specifically because you're finally starting to take action about who you want to be and what you want your life to look like. Good job, whoever you are. I will catch up with you soon and have a wonderful week. Bye.